Here is a Bohr model that involves some subtraction. Let's take a look at how this works. Steve collects baseball cards. He has eight fewer than twice as many Padres cards as Giants cards. He has three times as many Dodgers cards as Giants cards. Altogether, he has 82 cards. How many Padres cards does he have? Well, there are a lot of words here, and I always like to take a step back and just figure out what's going on. Steve collects baseball cards. He has some Padres cards. He has some Giants cards. He has some Dodgers cards. And altogether, he has 82 cards. We want to figure out how many of the Padres cards he has. All right. So I know that I have Padres. I have Giants. And I have Dodgers. I'm going to go ahead and give each one of those one unit box to what we need. Okay. There we go. He has eight fewer than twice as many Padres cards as Giant cards. When you run into a sentence like this, it's nice to break it up. He has eight fewer than... So he's eight fewer than... Eight fewer than what? Eight fewer than twice as many. All right. Twice as many Padres cards as Giants cards would be... That's what twice as many Padres cards as Giants cards. But he has eight fewer than that. So we'll go ahead and take off some cards. And we'll write an eight under here showing that we're taking off eight. And then we'll check this off. We've used that fact. He has three times as many Dodgers cards as Giants cards. All right, three times as many Dodgers as Giants. So there's one more. There is one more there. So three times as many Dodgers cards as Giants cards. Yeah. All right, three times as many. Good. So I can check that off. And altogether, he has 82 cards. There, a bracket. Check. How many Padres cards does he have? Well, I'll want to figure out what one unit is. And that's usually what we do when we solve these problems. Well, I could find out what one of these units was. I could divide by six if I had six whole units. But notice I've got five whole units and a little piece of this one. So I don't have exactly six and I don't have exactly five. I've got eight less than six, though, and if I were to add eight back, then that would make this a whole unit, and I would have six whole units. So let's add eight more. That means I'm going to add eight more to the 82, and 82 plus eight equals 90. So I can imagine that these six whole units would equal 90 cards altogether, so 6 goes into 90 15 times. That's one that I happen to know. You can figure that out with long division if you'd like. And so that means that each one of these units is going to be 15. Now this whole unit is equal to 15, so that this part is not 15, but the whole thing is 15. All right, the question is, how many Padres cards does he have? Well, looking at the Padres, this is 15. This whole unit is 15, but there are eight missing. He has eight fewer than twice as many. So well, how much is this? Well, 15 minus 8, that equals 7. And 15 plus 7 equals 22 cards for the Padres. 